everybody and welcome! Exciting times for space fans because the International Space Station received a new large module this week. After about a decade of delays, the history of the multipurpose laboratory module Nauka, which is Russian for science, is a weird one and it seems like some kerbals have been at work during its development, launch and docking with the ISS. Originally, the MLM was set for a launch in 2007, but was delayed over and over again. It is now the end of July 2021 and it is finally in orbit. You would assume that these delays gave everyone enough time to get Nauka in ship shape, but that was not the case. The launch had to be postponed numerous times, among other things because somebody forgot to install critical protection for science equipment on the outside of the module. It's almost like forgetting to add parachutes in Kerbal Space Program before launch, which is one of the 8 stupid mistakes everyone makes in KSP that I listed up in a previous video, link in the description. The problems with Nauka were reported by Anatoly Zak, who runs RussianSpaceWeb.com, an excellent resource for all things space from Russia and the former Soviet Union. These problems resulted yet in another launch delay. But finally, on July 21st, 2021, the Proton rocket carrying Nauka was launched and everything seemed fine. At first. Because after the module separated from Proton's third stage, problems with its telemetry and propulsion system came to light. The last thing was especially problematic because the Russians only had a short window to fix the issue before Nauka's orbit would degrade and it would have been lost. But as is almost tradition in the long history of Russian spaceflight, by the way, I have an entire series about that, link in the description, despite these issues, the flight control specialists managed to get it into the right orbit to rendezvous with the ISS. Before it could dock though, the small Pierce module had to be removed, which was done with the help of a docked Progress freighter. Pierce has served the space station for 20 long years, almost as long as Nauka had been in development and burned up in the atmosphere. My measly recreation in Kerbal Space Program can't do the real footage of the undocking of Pierce justice, so here's both for you to compare. Alright, so Nauka was at the ISS, but its troubles were not over. While on close approach, there appear to be some problems with the automated Kurs docking system and the Russian cosmonauts aboard the space station were instructed to use the Toru remote docking system. However, it seems that at the last moment Kurs decided to comply and docked safely to the ISS. Docking things together in space is not an easy feat, which is also true for Kerbal's space program, which is why I usually rely on the mod Docking Port Alignment Indicator to help me guide parts together. It makes things so much easier and it is one of the mods I can't live without, which is also a video I did and which you can watch with the link in the video description below. You might think that completing the docking maneuver marked the end of Nauka's saga, but not quite. It appears that there might have been a baby kraken on board or something. Because after the module was docked, its thrusters decided to fire again, sending the entire ISS out of alignment. Shown here in an overdramatization in Kerbal Space Program for your entertainment. But this problem was also remedied shortly after and the hatches between Nauka and the rest of the ISS have been opened in the meantime, expanding the available space within the station significantly. But the work on Nauka is far from finished. Already in 2010, a large radiator and an airlock for science experiments that will be mounted on the outside of Nauka were launched on Space Shuttle Atlantis together with the RASFET research module. ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet took this picture of them in the foreground with Nauka in the back. Both items will be added to the new module with the help of yet another thing that was flown up with it the European Robotic Arm. 
It is set to attach to the outside of Nauka and then install the radiator and airlock onto it. Me, I just added everything to my replica in KSP for a single launch because it was easier that way. Also, my arm lacks the ability to freely move around the space station like a caterpillar, similar to what the already installed Canada arm is capable of. So getting the ERA out and onto Nauka and operating it is going to be one of the next priorities of the crew on the ISS. There was some reporting after the docking of Nauka that the air pressure within the ISS was dropping, but this was apparently not related to the new module, but to the older Zvezda module that had some leak issues in the past. Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, was quick to point out that the new module behaves normally, now, and that the change in pressure is happening according to a planned schedule. For now, it seems like the ISS module almost 20 years in the making is ready to begin its work. But all the trouble surrounding it caused yet another delay. Boeing's already delayed CST-100 Starliner test flight number 2 was pushed back to August 3rd because of Nauka throwing the ISS out of alignment. The flight is an important step for the commercial crew program because at the moment only SpaceX is able to send astronauts from US soil to the ISS. On the bright side, we have another launch and ISS arrival to look forward to next week. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.